Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution where we have no power. Uh, temporary power outage, we're going to have to go and sort that out, aren't we? Uh, if you enjoy this video, please uh, let me know by clicking on the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. Okay, let's get that sorted. Alright then, so we're here on Isla Tacano and uh, we're hopefully going to be able to get uh, a few things sorted. So in the last episode, we were just about to complete the entertainment mission to get three and a half thousand people in the in the in the park. Uh, it just happened. It ticked over when I wasn't really looking. Uh, so it's done. And it gave us the gyroscope, uh, which if you've been watching my other series of Jurassic World, the sandbox mode, you'll have noticed that we've now got the gyroscope. Uh, I keep saying gyroscope. Gyrosphere, sorry. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here at the gyrosphere to uh, hopefully pump up this a little bit. Um, oh, hello. Did that get us to, Did we just get to three stars for no reason then? Island highlights. Narrow. Yeah. Reinforced enclosures. Nice. Expensive power generation. Oh, that's going to be an interesting one. Okay. Uh, but we're not quite done here. Oh, yeah. We just got like a, a whole star for no reason, which is pretty crazy. Um, okay. We'll just have a... Oh, look at all this. Uh, okay. Diplodocus extracts. This is all stuff I've just been doing off camera. Just saving all these up. Ceratosaurus, that's good, because that's what we're going to be doing next. Uh, we might as well sell that one, but we'll keep these nice five big ones here for when we go. Uh, oh, we're still waiting for space. Okay, so let's sell you as well. There we go. Okay, that's give us a Dracorex fossil and a Tyrannosaurus. That's the one we want. We're going to do a T-Rex today. What we're actually going to do, somebody made a really good point that we could move uh, the two little dudes who were in this one. They were... Oh, were they up in there? I can't remember. To Corey, Corey, uh, Corey's were they that we moved down here? We had to get loads of paras, parasophilo, or oh, whatever, Edmosaurus, That's what they were. Uh, yeah, these ones, these they require like five or six of them to keep them happy. So we've done that anyway. We moved them all down here. So uh, we're looking pretty good here. So what we're going to do is let's have a look. Let's get our gyroscope in place. Um, where are you? Uh, are you enclosures? Yeah, gyrosphere. I just said gyroscope again, didn't I? Okay, so we're going to have this um, pretty much right down the middle, I think. Yeah, yeah, pretty much right down the middle. So we'll go there. And then we can build... Uh, we built that completely the wrong way around. I say we. It was all me. You're probably screaming at me that I was doing it, weren't you? Enclosures. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, can we we can rotate buildings, can't we? There we go. That's better. Right, okay, let's try that. So we'll put you right there, pretty much. Smack in the middle. And there we can build. So, I would say, what's going to be a good route for them to take? That seems like a bit too long, to be honest. So... Uh, to go all the way around. Uh, so what about, we've got this little gap here. I don't know whether we can actually do it. Do you think we could get in there? It looks like it's going to let us do it. It's moving the moving the um, water a little, but I'm kind of okay with that. There we go. Uh, we're kind of feeding these resupply. That's fine. We'll do it in the moment. Do we go all the way around this one? I suppose we probably do, don't we? We um we did 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 this on um on our sandbox version and it made it a little long to be honest and I think this is probably gonna be gonna have the same issue in that it's a hell of a long uh, trek to get back to where we want to be there we go but we'll go with it and we'll see how it works out let's get the path to it there we go. And does that not need power? All right. Or does it? Re or does power reach it? Oh, it looks like power just reaches it. That's neat. Uh, okay, let's get some uh, food stocked. And do you know what? Actually, for a change, let's do it ourselves. Here we go. Let's get out there. Let's get our hands dirty. Let's go back to the floor. Let's run over a load of people, and uh, let's head down here. It looks like it was the large herbivore one down here. And that's fine. I assume they probably eat uh, pretty hefty uh, amounts of food. So we can pass here. This this one here has got some carnivores in. I forget which. Dilophosaurus, I think. 
Um, oh, something needs. Oh, something needs a repair down here. Oh, I'll, I know what needs a repair down here. The Paris uh, Parasophilo. So I can't even say that one. The Paras. Um, he, one of them was kicking off at the fence here because um, because he was all she was all on her own. Now, where's the gate for this? Is it down this side? Actually, can't remember. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Come on, then, vehicle access. Thank you. All. Let's nip in here. Uh, yeah, it is. It's this big herbivore one. Look, big old. Big old girlies there have been scoffing away. Um, nice sometimes just to have a look at it a little bit lower down. There we go, there they go. I hope you're happy now. So what are you? You're Diplodocus and Diplodocus. So we could probably do with some uh, Brachios in there as well. Is it worth getting a second Hammond Creation Lab down here or are we just going to keep moving them? I suppose it isn't that much work to keep moving them, is it? Okay, so let's go into here. Um, we have Diplodocai. Let's get a couple of Brachies. Uh, incubate. Oh, that one. You've got a, you've got a thingy. So what have we done to you? Let's have a look. Okay, we'll take the cosmetic one off. I, I, is that Hyper Blood? There's one that's really good. Hyper Efficient Blood. Uh, oh, actually, isn't very good for that one. For the smaller ones, that makes their life go way up. Uh, we've gone for Cardio Strength to get the lifespan because they die so quickly. These poor dinos die so quick. Look at that, we went up to, we went up a star and now we've gone down a star. How weird. So, um, now we've moved the Edmontosaurus down there. I say this will probably make a pretty decent um, T-Rex paddock, I, th I think. I mean, I don't really know what they require, but we can give it a go, can't we? If it all goes horribly wrong, it's going to be certainly uh, fun, isn't it? So, what we're going to do is let's go to paths. Uh, no, sorry, enclosures. And let's upgrade... Um, not gates. Oh, we could have done it from there anyway. Let's upgrade to electric uh, fences. There we go. So replace. Now we can go like that. There we go. And hope this doesn't cost us too much as far as electricity is concerned. Although I think it probably may well do. Oh no. No, so far it seems that's going to be okay. Although that is on zero unused power. Um, uh, other one of those is uh, down the bottom here, isn't it? So let's have a look. Oh yeah, you've got loads of unused power. And you're all on the same loop, so that's fine. Okay, so we've now got an electri electrified fence. I would obviously like concrete fence for T-Rex. I feel like um, it would be more suitable. But as far as the game's concerned, it doesn't, doesn't really seem to matter that much. But now, I'm pretty sure... Ah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I did all the research off camera. Oh, that's right, we opened up this one, the little uh, Stiggy Moloch, uh, which is a Fallen Kingdom one. That's quite cool, isn't it? Um, fossils in the Hell Creek and Lance Formation dig sites. Okay, well, yeah, new dino's good. We'll take that. Nothing else to research, so you can just sit there and chill out. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to unlock, let's see if we can pump up our T-Rex DNA a little. I think that's the best one, best chance of T-Rex there is where it's one of three rather than it being one of two anywhere else. Uh, one of like multiple ones anywhere else there and there. Look. So yeah, let's send you there. Uh, Dionicus, Dion, Dionic oh, let me have a look. Let me have a look at this one. Dionicus, I think that is. Do we have, we must have it because I'm pretty sure I got all of them. That, uh, let's have a look. I've been working, yeah, yeah, we've got everything we know. Oh, Dinonychus is that little dude there. Yeah, of course. Um, so they're the only meat ones we've got. We've got the Ceratosaurus, the Lophosaurus. They're the ones that, that, that go and spray the stuff. Velociraptor and Dinonychus. Okay. So in that case, yeah, we want to try and work on T-Rex just a little. And then uh, if we get some decent T-Rex fossil, we'll get one started strongly suggest you consider taking this contract yeah we can take that i think um i think we've completed the uh yeah we've done all the entertainment stuff so while we're hanging around um oh that large substation from science that would be quite useful going into the next island so we'll probably work on science a little bit as well in fact let's uh let's see if we can request a science contract um 
from sight. Let's hope it's something good. Increase your island rating to three and a half stars. Well, we were there a minute ago. We'll accept it and we'll have a look at what we need to do. So, uh, no, not you, sorry. Uh, here. So what's okay? We've just got okay there. Just okay everywhere. We need to try and increase variety. It's probably because we don't have anything that eats meat. And I think that may be the problem. So hopefully our T-Rex will sort that out. We need to up our storm defense uh, coverage. We've got pretty decent coverage there. We've got no... Co oh, yeah, we have got coverage there, actually. So let's co let's have a look down here and see if we can add a bit of coverage here that covers a lot of stuff. Coverage, coverage that covers, that's right. That's what I said. Um, terrain constraints. There we go. We put it there. You line up relatively well with the back of that building and you will cover most of... Oops pretty good um most of this area then will you let's have a look well let me see never mind come on t-rex oh that's t-rex though okay medium quality i'll take it and dracorex okay extracts and what about you sell oh hello yes another t-rex one okay no that, that's good that'll push us up to like 60 odd weather detection is complete that was a nice easy one um this one's a bit more of a long-term one, so we'll need to keep an eye out for that coming... Oh, I was wrong, press the wrong button. That coming back up again, less than a minute until the next request, and we'll take more science. Uh, but for now, I just want to get those two fossils done, just because any little bit was going to help with the T-Rex, isn't it? Let's have a look. Anything here is going to help with our T-Rex genome going up. Okay, let's get our T-Rex going. Um... T-Rex, there we go. Let's just I'm just, I'm happy to keep it baseline at the moment just to kind of see what we get. But um I want to I want to kind of see what the options are. Alpine and step uh resilience uh lifespan 55. I wouldn't mind trying to push that up a little bit actually because you don't want to grow a T-Rex for it to die after a few years. Um brain aging up to 85. <sighs> We're pushing this viability down, but we've got 40 plus. Oh, that one. Oh, we can get it to 100. Look, with that one. 33. So that gives us a. Let's have a look. Plus 40. So 73 percent chance. Uh, three and that. Three million. It's going to cost. Tell you what. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to save. <laughs> I'm going to save the game. And if it goes horribly wrong, actually three million. We've got like 14 million. We're we're absolutely piling in money now. What was that, by the way? Dinosaur threat? Oh, who's been naughty? Dracorex, why have you got no comfort? Oh, are you all on your own? Okay, well, let's get you fixed first then. Oh, tut tut tut, you naughty little thing. There we go. Get the ranger team down here as quick as you can, please, to fix that. So, hold on. It I don't understand why you're all annoyed. Is it just... Oh, it's too many, too much population for the Dracorexes. That's interesting. Um, oh, we're gonna have to go and stick you somewhere then, guys, because we're gonna put even more dinos in here now. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. And I, I, only because I haven't really done this much. Let's um, let's sell them. Let's see how that goes. Alright, as soon as you knock this first one out, look, they're all here. Just hold on, guys, you're not gonna. There you go, there's one, Darren. No, 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 no. There we go, both of you can go. Alright, and then let's do transport teams. If we click and then R, we can sell you for a few quid. Because as much as I like you, I want the big guys in there. Um, there's another one down somewhere. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Hmm. So look, there's one. You're being moved. There's up there. Wow. You 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 got quite a long way away, buddy. 
There you go, lovely. You can clear up as well. Boom. Oh, 31, you're worth a bit more. That's interesting. And then last one down here somewhere, was it? Let this be... No, no, there still. Oh, no, it's people. Where did you go then? Uh, oh. Oh, no, you're being transported. Yeah, there, look. Come on. Why is this taking you so long, please? I'll do me, I was going to say, I'll do it myself if you're not done now. Right, you're all sold. Clear off your core X, thank you. Um, everyone else, fine and dandy. What's your problem? Oh, they've damaged these ones up here as well. Look at the naughty things. Look at the naughty things. There we go. Okay, let's see if that does it. All right, where were we before we were rudely interrupted? We were doing a we were doing a um, T Rex, weren't we? Let's have a look, T Rex. Um, yes, we saved the game. Let's save it again. Now they're <laughs> they're all tucked away because that's um, that's a couple of minutes of my life I don't I want to try and get back. Okay, T Rex incubate. Okay, and then while that's happening, let's sort these. Uh, brachiosaurs out. Come on then. No There's number one. You've got to do these quick because they're not going to be happy in that tiny little space. Um, let's just check over here. So is they getting, are you getting fixed over there? Let's see if we can... Yep, yeah, you're kind of doing something. Request acknowledged. Request there we go. Acknowledged. Send you both over there. Or is that just replace the other one? I'm not sure how it works, to be honest. Um, dead dinosaur. Didn't want you to kill it. I wanted you to knock it out. Adding task. Okay, let's now move you all the way Asset down there. And you. The good thing about these, even though they take a few more hits, is they're pretty big targets. So they go down pretty quickly. Ah, uh, the veggie saw. That's the one from the. This is the one from the movie that sneezes, even though they couldn't sneeze. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. One thing I've noticed is playing this game, I get a lot of uh, 10 things you didn't know about Jurassic Park videos pop up on my timeline uh, to watch. And uh, some of them are pretty good, actually. Uh, right, who's dead? Nobody good, I hope. Let's have a look. Nothing there. It's got to be one from the original pen. It is, unfortunately. Oh, it's a couple of them. Oh, poor things. I hope that's... Um, I hope that's not going to affect... I think everything we've put in here is quite happy to live on its own. That was an important thing I wanted to do, to be honest. Because it's three dead dinos. What's going on? Two there. Oh, and one of our Dilophosaurus is... Uh, ooh, they might not be happy on their own, actually. Where are you? Let's have a look. Um, it looks like you're okay. I probably will get a replacement, though, because it's going to be a bit boring otherwise, isn't it? It's having one. One little dino in there. So, there, there. You're both off now, aren't you? And while the T-Rex is going, let's do... In fact, we'll do two of them. Um, where are they? Incubate and let's see if we can pump you up a little bit. If we can increase the age one is the only one I'm really bothered about the lifespan because fighting and attack and all that, it, you know, we're not we're not really playing the game that way, so it doesn't fuss me. Here, look, we can get 108. And resilience down to 39, 108 down to 46. That's the one it is then. There we go. Incubate. Nearly doubled the price. Um, no power again. Okay, we'll do it by hand. We'll do it manually. It's this one as well, always down here. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, the same power station always. Well. Excuse me. There we go. We'll 
they just leave you to smash into stuff. Uh, okay, so that's dead dinos on the way out. Yes, they sure do. So how about making sure your buildings have the power they need? All right, mate. Use this to one of the carnival fossil. Um, no, we're going for science right now, so I'll ignore that. Uh, normally I would take them, but I've noticed that the other ones actually push them down. Ugh, build, connect, and power a monorail station. That's an awfully long-winded one. Okay, we, I mean, we could put one in. We can go from we can go from the hotel down to here or something. That would actually look quite good, I think. Um, that would probably pump us up to about three and a half stars as well, so we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, operations, no guests, that'll be, won't it? There we go. Okay, let's see if we can do this and make it look not awful. It's tricky, the monorail, you know, especially... Especially with this, when there's tight um, space like this, it's quite tricky to uh, build and make it look, uh, oh, or make it look okay. Um, I would like a support somewhere. There we go. Otherwise, it looks like it's floating. Um, let's just get across the path there. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Now we can come down here. And let's go over this is this is horrific. Let's go over these guys. Here we go. And we're gonna we're gonna do that and we're gonna put a station in. Um or do we have to put the station in first? I think we do. Uh delete. That should be enough. Tracking complete. I know. Don't don't worry me with things like that. Uh, can we get you in there? No. Can we get you in there? No. Can we get you in anywhere? <laughs> Here. That would be perfect. That really would be perfect there, actually. This is going to be really tight. Uh, we've used all the space down here. Can we get you anywhere? Structed. Hmm. How about how about there? Let's see if we can get rid of that bit of from there down, and then if we can squeeze you in there somewhere. And it's the most useless monorail in the world. There we go. That's what we want. Boom. And then we're going to have to delete a bit more of that, I think, to be safe. Before we start coming over this way, and then connects it. Beautiful. Okay, let's path it up. Oh, look at that path. Lovely. Um, <laughs> let's fix it on this side as well, so at least it works. Um, I think it can be, it can be dead end, can't it? I'm pretty sure it'll just go back and forth. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, but what we do need to do just because it's going to make my eye twitch otherwise, is that we need to get that to be a little bit leveler. A little bit leveler? A little bit more level. Uh, okay, there we go. And the island rating's gone down. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get another... Um, let's get another science contract. Prevent any power outages. Oh, that's. I mean, we can we can try it because it just kind of just happens, doesn't it? That's actually a bit tricky because we get a lot of them. Okay, Claire, vanilla McBeige lady. All right, monorail. Are you operational? Now, I don't know whether or not a whole back and forth monorail works, or it needs to be a loop. It's not telling me there's a problem with it. Oh, hello. This is generally the first time we've done this. Increase your transport coverage and help us all take a load off. All right, well. Yes, there we go. It just runs back and forth. Awesome. Right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, God. Um, 
I don't know why I'm so scared. I just think I'm, it's just built into me to be scared because of the movies. <gasps> Listen to the music. Hello, you. Oh, she's a beauty. Ah, uh, yes, the tyrant. Oh lizard. God, yeah. We need the to um. Rex. We need to knock you out. Century fiction writers and adolescent children everywhere, and why? There we go. Because it represents everything that we fear about the past. It's what we believe that we've conquered, even though it ceased to exist before okay. humanity had reached the proto ape stage. And. Oh wow! Very quickly uncomfortable. Until you. Very quickly uncomfortable. Um, population and social. Yeah, that's fine. So forest and grassland. Pretty much all it needs really is a bit of space. So that's not too bad. Oh, it's. I love that little that head down run it does. That looks so good. Look at that. Oh, and it's down. Ha <laughs> ha! Poor thing. All right, let's move it. From there into here, and I, I just hope that's enough space. Disease contracted, my goodness. Um, who's got an old disease? Oh my god, that's a sabotage. That is, that's not um, no problem. that's not a regular one. That who did it? We'll feed that food while we're there. Oh, talking of foods, T Rex is going to need some food, so it's got to be a goat, hasn't it? Can't be old. Can't be doing the whole pile of meat. Gotta be the old live goat there for the T Rex. Uh, and she's got water. Okay, she's in the air. Right, we've also got a couple of these ready to go, so they can pop out the old dillos. There we are. And we'll get ready to trank them. Boom. And that bit of music's really sort of eighties. 80s movie. Very sort of E.T. or the Goonies. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Another one. There we go. Okay, so it's both of them done. Uh, disease is done. Awesome. There we go. Three stars. That What's giving us three stars? I don't know what's pushing that number up and down, to be honest. Uh, poor capacity. Another hotel is no problem. Um, transport coverage isn't great, but we're not, there's not really much else we can do. Capacity. Ugh, another dead dino. They just die. They just die so swift. Oh, that last Dilophosaurus. <laughs> um, so now there's nothing in there. It's a good job we made two of them, isn't it? Okay, first of all, before we do anything, is T-Rex happy? No, not even close. Not enough grassland. Uh, but too much forest, that's good. So we can maybe fix it by doing this. What is it just S? Oh, it's like, oh god. Um, okay, you need more space. That's fine. We can do it. We can do it pretty easily. What we're going to do is extend this. To, oh, maybe not that easily, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's see. If just this extra outside of buildable area. Okay. Please don't get too angry. What we can do is bring it up here. There we go. See? No problem. There we go. And then as quickly as we fix it, we can do this. Something is... Uh, excuse me. Thank you. There's a quick fix for you. If a T-Rex is banging a gate, delete the gate that it's banging. Right, so there's loads of forest. Uh, we need to get rid of some of the forest. Come on. Oh, come on. We're so close. A little bit more of the forest. Fussy little sod, isn't it? How's that? There we go. Comfort's going up. You're going to give up in a second, aren't you? OK, 
Can you stop attacking the fence? Now you comfort up, please. You gonna finish your animation? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, John, I'm gonna do actually just to be safe. In case it changes its mind. Okay, just enough grassland. Oof, that's quite tight, wasn't it? Uh, all right, so let's get rid of that fence there. Uh, the gate even and put a new one in because we need we need a way to to get to the thing look at the state of this vents here it's awful um let's do it down here and there then okay ranger we have an empty feeder somewhere oh must be at the top here oh no there look it's by a carnival feeder Oh, we're talking of which, there's nothing to eat, those. Forgot about that. There we go. So we did have meat eaters before then. And it was saying that the variety was bad. Hovering around these three and a half stars, but to be honest with you, we've opened the new island, so I'm kind of happy to finish up here. We've got the T-Rex, which is one of the main things I wanted to do this episode, and we've opened the new island, so uh, next episode we will start on Isla Pena. Um, two Edmontosaurus eggs. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that, and we can add them down to our big uh, safari. That's no problem. Um, Edmontosaurus, where are you? Why aren't these in alphabetical order? Is it, oh, it's the order of genome, are they? Modify the genome. Let's see what we can do to you. Because I think all we've done is at the moment is oh no, we have no cosmetic genes for them. That's interesting. Um, I've spent 127. I'm gonna get a couple of old girls here. Nice. All right. Well, in that case, incubate you as well. There we go. All right. I'll leave that there. Uh, like I say I'm gonna. I do carry on the missions off camera to kind of bump up the stuff we've got to use in the next island. But once we've opened the next island, I consider it's done. So, uh, like I say, we'll we'll move over in the next episode. Now we have our T Rex. We're all happy, happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.